<laughs> Hello, this is Abby Arthur, and I'm standing in the Ravenclaw Common Room from PlayStation Home. This is a space from PS Home that I truly thought I would never see again, and yet here I am. To give you some history for this space, we have to travel back a few years to when I used to follow the official Harry Potter website and newsletter created by J.K. Rowling herself. It was a wonderful website where J.K. shared the latest Harry Potter news as well as insights into the Harry Potter books. There were also some basic interactive things you could do on the website. After some time, J.K. made an announcement that something new and exciting was coming for Harry Potter fans. In 2013, as a joint venture between J.K. Rowling and Sony, Pottermore was launched. Pottermore was also a website, but the big difference was now you really felt like a Hogwarts student. You completed questionnaires that, you could, that sorted you into one of the four Hogwarts houses, and a particular one would choose you. I was so excited to be sorted into Ravenclaw House, as that was the house that I really wanted. My wand was Elm with Dragon Heartstring Core, 12 and 3 quarter inches hard. On the website you could read through the book chapters and interact with the beautiful illustrations to find things. You had your own home page which showed your progress and your items. You could do wizard dueling with other students from around the world and mix complicated potions. Your successes won points for your house and your failures lost points, just like at Hogwarts. You could also text chat with other players and discuss your house's progress towards the house cup. It was obvious by the millions of points that there are a vast number of people enjoying the Pottermore experience. Then, in April 2013, Sony launched Pottermore on PlayStation Home. I remember the excitement of watching the launch trailer. I've put a link to the trailer in the video description below. Pottermore was how I discovered PlayStation Home. As soon as I got over the initial amazement at PS Home itself, I headed straight to the Pottermore spaces, and as I had already been sorted into Ravenclaw, I just had to verify my Pottermore account within PS Home and got access to the Ravenclaw common room. So let's have a look around the small but very beautiful space. So the Ravenclaw common room was located at the top of a tall tower at Hogwarts Castle. The colour scheme is blue, it's a Ravenclaw colour, and you'll note there's stars on everything because of it being in the tower, it's close to the night sky. So there's some nice paintings on the walls, beautiful furniture, some things left behind by some students, including some sweets. And you'll note the windows, the bottom of the windows don't quite meet the windowsill, but I think that's because this is being played through the emulator on PC. I think that would be probably normal looking on the PS3. I will check and see, put something in the video description if that's the case. So we've got some scrolls left by the students. And in this little alcove here we've got Rowena Ravenclaw, who's the house founder. And someone's left their broom behind. And you can see the owls flying around outside. Quite a lot of owls, actually. Students have left their books behind, a hat and a scarf. So let's take this opportunity to zoom up to a few of the features of the room. So here we have the Ravenclaw mascot, which is the eagle, not a raven. the students notice board here with some notices such as Quidditch, Quidditch practice training 6 o'clock and Hogsmeade weekends and has anyone seen my toad? So somebody's lost their toad. 
and over here we can zoom up to one of the paintings obviously some old Ravenclaw head teacher there out at the Scottish Hills outside the window. I think Ravenclaw common rooms always have a very nice feel because they're very high up in the castle so they get usually get lots of nice natural light. And above the alcove where Rowena Ravenclaw is, we can see the Ravenclaw house crest. And a cabinet with some sort of interesting things inside. And the beautiful night sky, that's always a bit of a feature of Ravenclaw common rooms on the ceiling. So, when Sony made the announcement that PS Home was closing, I decided to try and make videos of every space I could in the limited time that I had. The Ravenclaw common room was one of the first videos I made, and especially after editing my username out, the video quality was not good. If you're interested in seeing that video, there's a link in the description below this one. I always intended to re-edit the video and make a better version, but thanks to people preserving home and whoever had the Ravenclaw common room in their cache, I have the opportunity to make this brand new video and much better quality. PlayStation Home closed in 2015, but if you're interested in finding out how you can visit the Ravenclaw common room, other Pottermore spaces from PlayStation Home or other PS Home spaces, you may wish to join the PlayStation Home offline headquarters discord. See the link in the description below the video.